Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the 112 Collective Shazam figure from Mezco. Here's a quick look at the front of the box. It's really simple, just red with the Shazam logo in the middle. You got DC Comics at the bottom, Shazam at the bottom, 112 Collective at the top. And once you open up the front cover, you get some classic looking artwork here. I really like that they went with the classic look because as we know, Shazam is one of the first, you know, superhero type of characters out there, so it's pretty cool. Then on the opposite side of that, you get a look at the figure. And you're able to see most of his accessories, some of them are kind of blocked off by the packaging, but they still look good. And then on the back you get a couple cool shots of the figure, and you can also see some of his accessories here. So I'm a big fan of the Mezco packaging, as always, I really like it. It looks nice, it feels high quality, it's collector friendly, all that cool stuff. So let's take a look at the figure itself, starting with the articulation here. And let's remove this cape. And so for his head, he's able to go look side to side. And then you're able to tilt his head a really nice amount. Then you can get him to look down. And then you could get him to look up about that much, almost all the way up. And then for his torso articulation, you could get him to lean back a really nice amount. And you could get him to crunch forward to about there. So not a crazy amount going forward, but not too bad. And then you can get them to tilt side to side using the torso joint here. And then you can get them to twist side to side. He's got two torso joints, one in the mid torso and one at the waist. And working them together, you can get him to kind of go make all these different movements forward, side to side, back, tilt, you know, all that stuff. You kind of use both joints together to get all that movement. And then for his arms. You're actually able to get them to go all the way up so you can get them into, into some flight poses if you'd like. And then he's also got the butterfly type of shoulder. Then his arm comes out to the side. You've got the upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You've got a swivel at the wrist and as well as a hinge at the wrist. And then let's see for his legs. You're able to get him to kick all the way to the side with his legs. So that's nice. You could get it to go back just a little bit there, as you can see. You could get him to kick all the way forward. And then you've got the upper thigh swivel. You've got double jointed knees. You can't really swivel here at the boot, but his feet can rotate around. You could kind of get him to rock side to side. So that's really nice. A lot of nice movement on the foot here. You could get him to tilt forward that much and tilt up about that much. So really good. It seems like the feet on the Mezco figures are getting a lot better. But yeah, Shazam has a lot of nice articulation. So very happy about that. Now let's take a look at his accessories. We'll start off with the hands here. He comes with a couple different pairs, starting with a pair of fists. And then he has a pair of open, like dramatic grabbing hands. And then he has a pair of flat hands that you could use for flight poses. And then he comes with three different heads. He has just the standard head. That looks really nice. I like the way that looks a lot. And then he's got the smiling face. You always get with Shazam figures. It looks great as well. And then you've got the screaming face. And that looks really nice. This is probably my favorite head sculpt out of the three. And all three heads are sculpted really nice. They did a really good job all the way around. And then you've got this really great looking like lightning effect that's kind of like supposed to be to when he changes into Shazam so that's pretty cool. And the way this works is it just clips right onto his neck. It's not really hard. It's soft plastic so it goes on there really easy as you could see. And it stays on there pretty good. Yeah it's really soft plastic. Very similar to the plastic that came on the flash, the Mezco flash effects. So that's very nice. Then he also comes with the Mr. Adam busted up head. That looks cool. And then he comes with the little Mr. Mind figure. And then here's a closer look at that. It's sculpted really nice. It's painted really nice. This pa all the paint looks really crisp and stuff. I really like the fact that they included this little guy for him. He's a goofy adversary for Shazam, so that's very cool that they threw him in there. And they did a really good job. All the paint and sculpt is good. These are really thin though, so I'd be careful with those. They kind of feel like they could possibly break, so be careful. 
and then here's a closer look at Mr. Adam. And this is really nice. You got the like Shazam fist print right into his face. His eyes kind of have like a see-through kind of look to him. And uh, yeah, this is just sculpted really nice all the way around. Got some like wires hanging out from the bottom of his head. Very cool stuff. Lots of lots of really neat accessories that came with Shazam. And then of course it has a Mezco stand where you got the plug here that you could make him stand. And you could just pop that out if you'd like. And Mezco or uh, Shazam's comes out really easy actually. So then you could just plug this into here. And then you've got this articulated arm that you could use to pose them on. And uh, yeah, the Mezco stands are always nice, but they're a little big, like I said. But here's a look at Shazam just standing on the Mezco stand. De he definitely looks cool, so it's, it's nice. And then here's a look at him using the articulated arm to be posed on. And then for some size comparisons, here he is next to Mezco Joker and Mezco Batman vs Superman Batman. Then here he is along with the uh, Marvel Legends Ultimate Peter Parker Spider-Man and DC Icon Superman. Then here he is with Mezco Captain America and Mezco First Appearance Daredevil, two of my favorites. And then here he is with Figure Arts Michelangelo and Figure Arts Civil War Captain America, or I'm sorry, Age of Ultron Captain America. And then here he is with DC Icon Swamp Thing and Mezco Flash. Then for one more, here he is with Marvel Legends Daredevil and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And just in case anyone's curious, I kind of thought this would make a pretty good Bruce Wayne head, but it doesn't quite fit. You could probably modify it to get it on there, but I, I don't know, I think that, that would kind of work. Right now it's just sitting on here, as you can see, it just comes right up. But uh, I don't know, I think that would kind of kind of look cool for a Bruce Wayne head. The Bruce Wayne head looks pretty nice. And then here's a closer look at the figure itself. All the cloth looks really good, the gold looks really good. Even when you're posing the figure, the cloth still looks nice. It's nice and stretchy, very similar to the Flash. Then you got these gold boots with a little bit of texture to them. They look pretty cool. I thought I wouldn't really like the gold at first, but he looks really good, especially in hand. You got the gauntlets here that are, I mean the bracelet kind of things that are sculpted on here nice. This belt kind of sits here loose. It is, con it is connected right here, but the rest of it kind of just feels loose like you can move it around. I'd be careful kind of with this thing. It feels like it could possibly start to peel off. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. This right here is kind of stuck onto there. It looks like it's movable, but it's not really. And then for his cape, you got some wires in here. So that's awesome that they included that. And not some weird goofy cape contraption that doesn't really work. You got some wires down here. Then you've also got some wires up here. So you could kind of make it look like he has a hood on. I think that's how he looks in the new 52 books. I'm not sure. Or the Rebirth or one of those books. I thought he had a hood on, but... Then you could bring it back just to make it look classic. So you got some options there. I definitely like the, the wire, the use of the wires versus the weird cape thing that they sometimes include with their figures. But uh, yeah, it looks good. And it does definitely take a little bit of messing with to try to get his cape to look, I mean his hood to look good on there. That still doesn't even quite look right, but I'm sure uh, someone with a little bit more patience could definitely make his hood look nice. One thing I'm not into is the way that it's kind of sewn together right here. As you can see, it kind of looks a little bit sloppy, but it's not really a big deal. It's just kind of just the kind of way it is with this the material they use on this figure. And I really don't like the way these things look. They kind of look like Christmas decorations or something, like glittery butterflies. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, with the Mezco style, they kind of got to do what they got to do. I, I really like the way he looks without the cape, actually. I don't think that's comic accurate at all, but I like the way that looks. So overall, I'm very, very happy with this figure. Again, Mezco did a really good job. I know a lot of people are really excited about this, and I really don't think that anyone will be disappointed. And uh, I have no real big gripes, or I don't think there's any big flaws with this figure. The cape thing is kind of weird, but that's just the character design. I don't really see any other way they really could have done it. Uh, it is cool that they started to include the wires in the cape. That's awesome, because I really, as you probably know if you watch any of my videos, I, I really dislike that cape weird thing that they try to include sometimes that came with that comes with the Batman figures and they came with Superman I hate that thing so I like the fact that they're moving to wires and hopefully other figures other characters with capes will have wires and uh, I definitely like all the accessories that he comes with uh, especially the lightning effect 
I think that looks really, really cool. That adds a lot to the figure. You could definitely get some cool uh, photographs with that thing. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Very happy with this figure. I don't think I'd put him up there with one of the best Mezco figures or anything like that, but he's definitely cool. He's not a disappointment or anything like that. Um, I definitely think that fans of Shazam will love him, and uh, I, I love him. You know, he's very cool. I'm very happy to have him. I just, I just don't think I'll put him up there with like, uh, you know, like Mezco Cap or Mezco Batman. But uh, he's probably, probably equal to Green Arrow. Yeah, I, I would say he's probably along with Green Arrow. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, comment, and all that cool stuff. And thank you very much. Peace.